Today we paint. Now that our palette's black, it should help keep down any reflections and keep everything nice and dark. So last time we made this, uh, this gum pusher, and today, uh, to see if it works, we need to do the electronics for it. Ba -da -ba -ba. There it is. All right, let's see if she chooches. We're gonna try it on this extra guy here first. So we've got signal coming in from Dragon Frame through the DMC-16 down here. This guy. <gasps> oh, it's moving just a little bit. So tiny. All right, it's working. Oh, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh ho ho, look at that. Oh yes. So this is pretty good. We've got two problems though. One is we've got to figure out how to reduce friction between the gum and the sleeve or increase friction between the sleeve and the form here. Also, the gum doesn't go in far enough, so we need to mount this bar farther up. I have an idea. That moves our bar a little bit farther up, and it also holds it, so we don't need any tape. So maybe that will solve all of our problems. Still dragging though. Okay, I think I see. So the gum is a little bit too high in the box. When we slide the sleeve on, it's pushing the sleeve down, which causes a bunch of friction. We need a way to mount the bar higher up, or, bends the bar down. Uh, risky, but let's try that. So that seems a little bit more lined up, this bottom edge here. Still pushing. Seems better though. I think it might not be straight. Might be a little bit straighter. That is better lined up, but we're having the same problem. Maybe we can just add more tape. Oh, yes! There it is! Oh, no. Oh, this is backwards. This should be coming in from this side. My assumptions were wrong all along. The bend is in the wrong direction now. This seems pretty good. This power cable to our little stepper driver we just made is not quite long enough. Uh huh. Oh, hey. 
And this, this is where our friend, the stepper driver, will live. Oh, is that the wrong? This might be the wrong barrel connector. Uh, okay. Okay. That one works. All right, the gum is working, and nice. Okay, we have an interesting problem here. Do you hear that stuttering? That's the slider stuttering back and forth. Look at what happens when I disconnect this motor, the spinning motor. It stops. Also, if I reconnect that, look at what look at what happens when I move the driver closer to this motor. It's much more extreme when it's closer. So the noise from the coils in this stepper motor is interfering with the step and direction signals feeding this guy. I knew it would be susceptible a little bit to noise because of the way this is wired, but I didn't I didn't know it would be this bad. So what I'll have to do here is make a little extension cable so that we can get this guy farther away from that motor. Okay, update. The extension cable made the problem much worse. I'm not sure what's happening anymore. Going back to the shorter one. It doesn't really seem to happen consistently in any position, and at all in some positions. So maybe if I just place it gently somewhere and ask it nicely. It'll be okay. Actually, that's probably not a good idea. Uh, but the Dragon Frame DMC-16 user manual has some suggestions. It's saying like the proper way to do it is to get a differential line receiver. So I think that's what I am going to have to do. Expected delivery March 20th to March 25th. Alrighty then. The delivery of that part is going to push back our final shooting date. But uh, there's still a lot we can do until then. <laughs> So if 
we go too far, it's gonna fall forward here. Yeah. Ah! I think maybe some kind of counterweight that engages once it reaches the top that uh, pulls it back. But that works quite well for a can of beans. Very productive day. We got the palette painted, we got the gum moving, we got the light up and moving. Um, pretty good. We still need to figure out how to keep the light from tipping forward. Um, and uh, eh, I don't know, other things probably. We'll do that tomorrow. Bye.